It's our day of the week. Hey, hello. Joe and I are going shopping at Goodwill. Thursday. It's a good day. On Thursdays we shop. So let's go see what we can find. Hey Joe, I found some, some shoes. Look at these. Look, they're goshies. Oh snap. Gachi. Why does it got like the Reebok sign symbol? I don't know. It's like every like fake thing all in one. That's what's up. Yeah. The collaboration. Oh yeah. A solid Gachi Reebok collab. Gachi. Not seeing any shoes. Oh, these are cute. I mean, they not to resell, but they're cute. Blue velvet. snacks in it and yeah no green is half off so this would only be six but I still don't think it's a good find this has a Saks Fifth Avenue it's like a suede jacket but it's very dated so we're gonna pass on that Ooh, I like this tweed cavy jacket but I think I'm gonna pass on that Ryan Scott that brand. I should probably look that up. American Eel. Let's see what we can find today. I think that we have some potential here. This is from um, Anthropology, but I don't know if I pay ten dollars for it. Oh, I love this! This is vintage, and the cut of this is gorgeous. I'm just not good at selling vintage, or I would pick that up. Styling coat. I say no to that. Okay. What is this? This is cute. It's not made very well, but it's cute. Sleeping on snow, which is anthropology. It's not in the best condition. Edition. We're going to pass on that. Oh, I love this Chico's jacket. It's like a band military jacket. Don't want to pay twelve ninety nine for it though. Sister's Cafe. The tiki thing. <laughs> Ursula, huh? Mother of the Bride. There's some linen. Sandro is expensive, but this is definitely like very boring, so we're gonna pass on that. Okay, I'm gonna pick that up. Whoop! Alright, so I did find one blazer before I started filming, which I might get. It's this Eileen Fisher. It's a nice, lightweight, open front, like longer jacket. $7.99 so we will probably end up with that guy today next up we're gonna shop this whole wall full of dresses let's see what we can find
this looks like the matching dress to that blazer we just found. I just found some really great pieces. I found a quartz dress, St. John Couture dress, and a Halston Heritage maxi dress. And they're not crazily priced, which is shocking, to be quite honest with you. So I'm very excited about these finds. Let's keep looking through this store because obviously someone fancy donated stuff. This is great. They're like, how long would it take me to go through every rack in this store? I'm very curious. I wonder if I should time myself. Yep, there's me. Hey, Joe. How long do you think it will take me to go through every woman's rack in the store? Uh, effectively? Like, I mean, effectively, like flipping through them all, every single item. Hmm. Two hours? Two hours, really? Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, there's a lot of racks. The women's racks are literally from here all the way through over there. You're right. The oh. men's racks are just like this small section. Okay, let's not include the men's. Let's just do women's. That's I know, you said women's. So that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna try it. Women's racks is an entire. All right, I'm gonna start over here and then I'm gonna try and go through all of them and see how long it takes. I mean, you already looked at those over there, right? Yeah. So, you don't have to do that now. All right, well, uh, go for it. Let's start. All right, sweaters, let's do it. See how long it takes. A trip to the thrift wouldn't be complete without the Rachel Zoe sweater. There she is, just hanging out. No big deal. There's some very old joie. I'm not gonna buy that bad boy. Okay, I found nothing on that rack and it took me three minutes to go through. So, let's film the next one here. We're gonna go through this whole thing and see how long it takes. I do have the advantage of knowing most of the brands and being very well versed in what I'm looking at. So, you know, that is helpful. And a lot of times, like, I've been thrifting for so long that I'll recognize things, you know? Like, oh yeah, I recognize that knit. I know what brand that is. Good. There's a good hole. When I can't find a tag, I start looking at hardware, but this hardware has no markings. Highly doubt that's anything.
All right, there we go. That took another three minutes. So on average, we're three minutes per row. What's that? It's a pig. What has spots that are skateboards? Oh. Skateboard Caitlin and a basketball hoop, but I don't understand the design. Well, someone loves that. Someone named Caitlin. Okay, so we just finished this room. We found two maidies. We need to look at pumps, but this is a Madewell knit sweater. And it is $7.99. And then we have an Eileen sweater for $7.99 as well. So I'll pull, get some pumps, look at condition, and decide on those ones. Okay, there is a lot of Eileen Fisher in this store right now. All the same person, clearly. This is probably a piece that I'm not gonna get. It does have some wear. And it's just, you know, I'm gonna pass on this piece. But we're still going, guys. We're still going. Look at that. Hopefully we find some more gems in here. John Ricky Freeman. I'm gonna pass on that. It's a little older than I'd like it to be. A nice Brooks Brothers cardigan, though. That might be right up my alley. I'm gonna think about this one. Athleta. Got an older Athleta tag. Now there's a new Athleta tag. It's all silver. I'm not going to get that for $7.99. Mm -hmm. Piper Live. This is owned by Gap. I don't think it's in existence anymore. $4. Green's half off. I really like this sweater though. But I think I'll probably pass because the season isn't right. the pants and stuff. I don't know if about a shirt for $7.99, but I do love picking up the other stuff. Like, pants and skirts sell very quickly for me in the $50 range. But I'm going to pass on that. If it was half off, I might get it. What are you? Yeah. You go through this whole rack and see if you find anything, and then I'll go through it and see what you missed. Yeah? Oh, really? Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, alright, I guess so. I guess. I guess. Here's more of that Eileen. Same lady that came in on the same day. Ah, uh, the pink one. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you buy this for $7.99? Let me know. Put it in there as a maybe. Pink is so nice and springy. Look at Joe hasn't gone very far. <laughs> I know everyone picks up this Chaser brand, and I would pick up other ones, but I wouldn't pick up this thermal. I believe this one in general was sold at what is that called? Costco, and so that's pretty prevalent. The other pieces, probably yes, but just like that Rachel Zoe sweater that's everywhere, if it was sold at Costco, they're just everywhere. So I generally don't pick that up. I've tried it before, that piece in particular, not the whole line, just that piece. And it's just something to be aware of. Nope. Find anything over there? Mm -mm. It's an oak. Nothing? All right, I'm gonna come through and look, see if I can spot anything. Mm, it'll be a nope. It'll be a big nope for me. Okay. 
I trust you, actually. I kind of don't even want to go through it. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if it turned up as a no. What's that? Joe, and tell him this is worth a lot of money, even though it's not. Because I saw him looking at it for a long time, trying to figure it out. There's a bunch of new wraps. This is a tummy. Also, why don't you get this? I couldn't read what the tag says, so I tried to look it up, but I can't read what it says, so I'm like... It's worth a lot. Is it? Well, I wouldn't know, because I can't read the tag. I'm just kidding, I was messing with you. I saw you trying to look it up for a while. This shirt has dolphins with sunglasses. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm not gonna lie, this Chico's like kind of off the shoulder, button down shirt. I would, I would rock this. I like it. Anyway, we're not finding much. This is like the real... <laughs> The truth about thrifting is that you spend a lot of time flipping through these rocks and then everyone on social media gets the highlights which is like hey I found these 10 things but I spent four hours going through rocks and looking at junk to find them. Anyway back to searching guys. I'm gonna go through this whole store. We're gonna see what we can get. Ooh NASA! All right, guys, we finished that half of the store. It took me 40 minutes. I have very little to show for it. All right, now my enemy, the skirt section. I hate the skirt section. So hard to see what you're looking at. This section will take me longer. Skirts also just don't have the like return on investment that other pieces have. And it's definitely a section I skip for the most part. Look at this. How am I gonna come in here? Where are you? Mud. <laughs> but we're making good time so far. Okay guys, we're one in one hour into it. I would say we're halfway through, so Joe might be right. In the skirt section, I did find a couple pieces. This gorgeous all surrounding skirt. Is one of them. Well, let's go over to these pants. Also, Joe gave up. Do you see him back there? He's just hanging out. Hey, there. <laughs> Currently working through the pants. I have found a few good pair. These are interesting. It says as is, but they're like new and dark, so there's clearly a stain or something on them. Okay, the pants are going okay. I found some Beta brands. I found some. Um, I remember off the top of my head. I'll show you guys in a second. But I think we're making pretty good time, you guys. I really want to beat that two hours that Joe judged me. <laughs> I'm so competitive with myself. That's all done. I found a couple of pair of St. John pants that are actually half off. I might not get them though because they're pretty faded. And honestly, like, it's just the regular St. John label. So I don't know. They're $5. I'll look them over. We'll see about these ones. These St. John pants just do not move for me very well. They're a good size though. Size 14. Probably send them to thread up. Oh, look at They're missing the... It should be like that. It should say St. John on the back. I don't know. in these pants. That is disgusting. Look at You can tell. Ooh. Okay, we're not getting these. I'm gonna put these bad boys back. Probably end up at the bins, to be honest with you. That's the stuff that's going on. Okay, back to the shorts. close you guys just this one I already went through this I gotta go the other side and there's just a couple more behind me I started at 10 50 it's 12 30 right now so let's do this stranger things I've never seen this before maybe I should watch it who watches stranger things let me know what's it like is it scary I don't like scary I don't like scary I don't like suspenseful is it a love story hate tank tops. Anyone else hate going through tank tops? Because they're always like stuck together. 
hot cotton. If you saw on eBay, this is a great one to pick up. This is a 1X too. This would be five bucks. I'd pick this up unless it's 30. But it's not going to do that well on Poshmark. Different markets. <coughs> We can have shirts like that. Why can't we have them like right now? I want to be that corny so bad. Wait, why don't we just do that now? Why do we have to wait? I uh, am. Yeah. <laughs> so this aisle doesn't really fit a cart. Sorry, though. Look at this Pendleton. It's like a Pendleton that's trying to be a Patagonia, and it's fifteen dollars. So I'm not gonna buy it. But I thought that was interesting enough to show you guys. Also, I'm almost done. I only have couple racks left and I'm so excited. I like that. Okay. Let's do this. Ooh, a free people bomber jacket. I like it. I wonder if anyone else does. <laughs> Alright, we're right at that two hour mark. Oh, 12.48. I still have this rack to do. Looks I like guess. I was just about dead on, huh? Look who's right, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright. That's what they call me. Mr. Wright is your name. I still gotta sort this stuff in my cart. Remind me not to do this challenge again. I will definitely remind you not to do this challenge again. I have accomplished my mission of going through every single woman's rack in this place. It's my cart. I'm gonna sort it, and I'm probably never gonna do that again. That was not fun. I am tired. What did you find back there, mister? Hells, a crime for ever, for all seasons. Crazy for oh. For criminals? I think so. That's what's up. Okay, so here is the full haul from going through the entire store yesterday. I ended up with 23 pieces, and I will show you what they are. Unfortunately, I didn't get any shoes, which is usually my favorite thing to get, but um, this is a pair of shorts by Babaton. They're really cute. They're only $4.99. They have like a pleated high waist. This is a pair of onesie leggings. Um, there are some really popular prints in these. I didn't look up the comps on this print, but generally the printed ones can do pretty well and it is a popular style, the palm leaf. So I went ahead and paid $6.99 for those. These are just a pair of Vince pull-on pants. They were $7.99 and they do have a newer tag in them and they are a size large, which is a good size. This is a pair of pants by um, Babaton, but it's the group, which I believe is kind of a little bit higher. I don't know. I don't know. I looked up comps. It looked good. They were half off, so they were only um, $4. This is a soft surrounding skirt that was half off as well, so it was only $3. These, uh, so I had put these in my cart once before and taken them out. And I didn't remember why I took them out. I think I was thinking like, oh, last time I was just trying to be like budget conscious and they just didn't fit in with my budget. Um, I paid $7.99 for them. a pair of Diane Von Furstenberg pants. And now I know I took them out because there's no size on them. And pants without sizes are really hard to sell in my opinion. So I might take these back. I might keep them and just list the measurements. I really like them. I need to pull comps on the exact style. We'll see. Even I still buy duds, guys. Okay, I got these purely because they were half off, so they were only $4, and it is this time of year where people are buying outdoor stuff. They're women, size 8, that's a good size, mountain hardware, outdoor pants. These were half off as well, so they were only $3.50, they're current Elliott jeans. These were $7, and they're Beta brand. Love this brand. Um, they're like yoga career pants. Trust me, they sell. Okay, on to the not pants stuff. I did get this soft surrounding skirt as well. You guys, how beautiful is this piece? I am so obsessed with it. 
it is a petite extra small, which is a horrible size, but it was $7.99 and I just couldn't leave it behind. It is so pretty, you guys. Okay, the next piece here is a, um, it was half off. It was only $2.50. It's Pure and Good, which is Anthropology. It's just a basic tank, but they make basic pieces and they always do well for me. This will probably flip for about $18 to $20. So not a huge profit, but a really good ROI on that $2.50. This is a Vince blouse. And this brand is like so hit and miss, but you guys, I love to wear this brand personally. So I have a hard time leaving behind these good staple pieces. So I paid $8 for it. It will fit me. So I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I'll sell it. I won't make a ton of money off of this, but I don't know. I just, my emotions got the best of me with that one. This is a Madewell sweater with $7.99. Again, this is my size, but Madewell Knits have been doing really well for me, so I went ahead and grabbed that. This is an Eileen Fisher, like chambray jacket. It's long, open front, so perfect for spring, and it was $7.99. I just love this piece. I left behind a lot of the Eileen I found, so hopefully this is a good one. This is probably great. Um, it's NAU and it's just a pullover down jacket. This retails for $300, you guys. I love this brand. They're an eco-conscious brand. It's all like recyclable materials and um, very popular. I only paid 10 for it. I will probably list it around 100. That was a great find. This is a White House Black Market halter dress. Got the ruffles, super cute. It was half off, so it was only $4. And to be honest with you, I will send this into Thread App. Um, White House Black Market does really well for me over there. This is a uh, dress I paid $7 for, and it is the St. John Couture line. Um, now, there's nothing fancy about this one. I usually like them if they're like beaded and stuff like that. But you guys, it's still St. John Couture. It is a Santana knit and it is a dress. I still think I can sell pretty well. I think the straps might've been altered. I'm not positive. I can't, I need to like pull some, I need to see. The straps might have been altered, but that's fine. I will just note that in my listing. This was another amazing find you guys for $6.99. I've only found this brand two or three other times in my whole career. This is a ports dress. Um, these are very expensive pieces. I might send this into thread up as well. We'll see. It is an older style, but this dress probably retailed for around a thousand dollars. This is another Eileen piece, $7.99. And I just thought it was a great piece, size medium. This was a mountain hardware dress that I got for half off, so it was only $4. Nice little basic. This is so pretty, you guys. It's got this like high-low, flouncy ruffle front, and it is brand new with tags. It's Bardot, which is an Australian-based company, and it was $10, but I think I can sell it for $50 or so. This is a mod cloth maxi dress. How pretty is this? It's ruffled. It's got this like open sleeve and it's a 2X and it is new without tags. It still has the like uh, buttons on the outside and it's only $6.99. I love this piece. This is another amazing find. It is a maxi dress in white and it is Halston Heritage. Look at that keyhole neckline with the gold hardware that is in perfect condition. I paid $9.99 for it and it might, I don't know. This was a great, great find you guys. So I was very happy about this one. So anyway, that's my whole haul. I think I did pretty good. I was very selective. I went through the entire store and now I'm gonna get all these pieces listed. So thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.